Hi, Michael Yadney, and welcome to another Rich Habits, Poor Habits webcast with my good friend in the United States, Tom Cawley. Welcome, Tom. Hi, Michael. How are you? I'm great, thank you. And I'm so excited that our book, Rich Habits, Poor Habits, which has been available in the United Kingdom and available in hard copy in Australia for almost a year, is finally available through Amazon and good booksellers in the United States. So uh, we actually just did a little uh, book launch audio uh, and video a couple of days ago. So we're going to make a bit of a fuss because in both our minds, it's actually a pretty special book, isn't it? It is. It's, it's a compendium of everything you and I believe in and, uh, you know, have been teaching people uh, for, for many years. So uh, it's really a good information garnered over, you know, cumulatively about 30 years of experience here. Well, today I'd like to discuss one of the principles that we both speak about, and it's the concept of self-determination versus predetermination. I've found that there seem to be two schools in the way people think about life. They either think that uh, they drive life circumstances or that life drives their circumstances. I say it slightly differently, that they feel that they're the pilot of their life or that they're a passenger just being dragged along. What are your thoughts on that, Tom? Well, I have really changed my thoughts about this uh, since I've done my research. I was always under the assumption, quite frankly, that people who are rich are rich because of, you know, just they're at the right time, at the right place. Uh, and what I found out in my research is that many of these self-made millionaires were at the wrong time, at the wrong place, and somehow they pulled themselves out of the abyss and became very wealthy. And I realized it wasn't just one, it was almost all of them. And the reason they were able to become millionaires was because they believed that uh, their circumstances, whatever they were born into, did not dictate what, what the, their lives were going to be. Now, can, this, this is opposite of what I found with the poor people. The poor people believe that they're victims of their circumstances and that uh, they were born poor. That's why they're poor. That has nothing to do with anything other than bad luck. Well, it's a combination of things because we all have bad luck and we all have opportunities that are presented to us in life, but sometimes we don't take up, uh, the advantage of those opportunities. And I like what you said a moment ago, Tom, because in my mind, there's no such thing as a rich victim. So for you, me, our viewers to get to the next level in life and become more successful, one of the habits you have to take on is the habit of understanding that you are con in control of your life. Now, I believe also everything happens for a reason. So whether it's the good luck or the bad luck, I've learned that if I believe it happens for a reason, and I don't always understand what that reason is, but if I do believe it's happening for a reason and I act upon it, then I behave better, I act better, I act in a more efficient manner to get me to the next level rather than thinking, oh, gee, this is terrible. So I look for a useful belief in when things go wrong. Look, this didn't work, but what good can I get out of it? Yeah, this is the mindset thing, Michael. So what I found in my research is that uh, self-made millionaires, they assume everything is going to go wrong uh, because they're starting a new venture, they, they're learning, they're going to make mistakes. They're, they assume that. And, th and this is very interesting to me because now once you assume that you're going to have problems, then your mindset changes and you say, well, now I'm just going to focus on solutions. Uh, whereas with the poor people, they look at it and they say, well, um, I'm, assume, I'm going to assume everything is going to go perfectly. And when they run into the first bump on the road, they, they throw up their hands and they quit. They say, well, you know, I just, I'm, I, I'm unlucky. Things didn't go my way. Uh, you know, it's just two different ways of looking at it. That's right, Tom. In fact, you're in business, I'm in business, and I'm sure many people listening to us and viewing this are in business also. And we'd like things to go well. We'd like clients to uh, behave and do the right thing. We'd like our staff, our team members to. Uh, and I used to get disappointed when it didn't work that way until one of my mentors told me, Michael, it's never calm water. It's always those white water, like where you go rafting. And so if I come to work understanding that okay, don't expect things to be perfect and calm. What is going to be the white water, the, the ripples, the problems today? And that's my job to fix it. 
And my coach, my mentor at the time said to me, Michael, that's your job. You're the boss. If other people could fix the problems, they'd be the boss. So I recognized it's my job to fix problems. Same with investors, same uh, with, with you as an, if you're an employee, your job is to be the best at what you can do to fix the challenges, the problems for your employer, for your customers, and that gets you on in life. That's right. And as when you're the boss or when you're in charge or when you're a decision maker, um, you, and when you make those decisions, some of those decisions are going to go right and some of them are going to go wrong. And you, you just uh, have to chalk it up to experience and say, look, I, I, you know, this was the decision I make. I, I'm going to fight like hell to make this a success no matter what. Everything's going wrong. It, it's burning all around me. I like the, I like the metaphor you used about the, the water. You, you know, I like to think of this pursuit of success as white water rafting. And it's going to be rough, but guess what? Uh, it's also going to accelerate at times, and you're going to go really, really fast. And, uh, and that happens. You know, Michael, how many, how many, you and I know this because we've talked to a lot of wealthy, successful people. They, they, they all say the same thing. It took me like 15 years to become an overnight success. And that's what kind of it's like the white water rafting. You, you're, you've got all these obstacles, all these hurdles, and you're just trying to stay on the boat. But before you know it, you're all the way down the river and you're so far ahead. You know, imagine if you didn't have all of this going on, you'd be on a nice calm water, you wouldn't get anywhere. <laughs> good point. It is actually a good analogy for business and for life. So I like what you said, expect problems, be the pilot of your life, understand that you're in control of those and don't expect other people to fix your problems if you do. And uh, that's what your, one of your tasks is. And one of your rich habits, you're going to be more successful in life. Thanks for that great lesson, Tom. I look forward to chatting with you again next week. Me too, Michael.